What is happening, Randy? Good morning, sir. How are you? Good. You ready to throw the beach? Always ready. Did y'all go to the bridge last night? Yeah, I went for a little while. Anything? See anything? I just caught some specks and that was it. I didn't... What happened? Why did y'all stay so little? Because I had to get up early in the morning. Uh -huh. <laughs> I actually wanted some sleep this morning. Well, let's uh, let's go off the beach see what's up this morning. We got a light breeze out of the north, and uh, that'll make our cast go way out. Coupon holder. Coupon holder. Transformed into a king rig. Hey man, that's a great idea. Wow. Mostly plastic. Consolidates yeah. it. I don't have rigs flying all over the boat. Man, that's brilliant. Man, I like that. Did y'all see that? That just happened. Boom. Well, good morning, universe. The bite is on this morning. Look at that bluefish. Holy smokes. Yes, sir. I don't know how much y'all can see yet, but it's gonna be epic. Turn back. Thick this morning, man. You never know. It's always something different. We're fun to catch either way. Hell yeah, I love it. Now unhook yourself. Oh wait, he got the shoulder. Oh, what is that? It might be a spin, dude. Oh, he's cutting fast. This thing's going fast. I don't know what it is, guys. Hooked him way out. Blue. We tend to start early in the morning, low light with top water, and then move to spoons later. Yes, sir. Man, these things are fun to catch, man. Right, let's let him go. <laughs> Especially when they hit way out, it's awesome. The unique sands of the Emerald Coast are among the whitest in the world. This unique spot on the Gulf Coast roughly runs from Gulf Shores, Alabama all the way to Panama City, Florida. This sand, tens of thousands of years ago, consisting of small quartz particles, came down the Apalachicola River from the Appalachian Mountains. Yeah. 
All right, I got a loner tactical angle clip. This is an 80. Looks like the people down the beach got a shark. This is an 80 pound tactical angle clip. Given on loaner from, from Randy. I'll have 50s. And I was having trouble getting some of these plugs with the swivels, with the uh, O-rings on them, on the 50, but I think I can do it with this 80. So what we're doing, people, is we're throwing top water, we're throwing spoons, we're just feeling out what the fish want here on the beach and uh, looking for bait, looking for blow ups and just throwing toward that. That's pretty much all we're doing, changing out baits. I'm trying lots of stuff, just seeing what they want. I'm even trying bass plugs, crankbaits. Let's give it a shot. All right, we've got a new species. A little Spanish, right? A little Spanish, yeah. Cool. Maybe you need to be going smaller, man. Yeah, so you Might be the ticket. Down a little bit. There you go, bad to the bone. Baby Spanish mackerel. Mackerel de Espanol. <laughs> Kinda died off, folks. I'm gonna scoot down this way and see if it changes. Tourists are out thick this morning. Set up right by this Dos Equis bottle. I think the Dos Equis is leading me to fish. What do y'all think? Got a red? A bit. Awesome, man. Sure enough, they're still here. There you go. Maybe smaller is the key. Here come Chris. Here come Chris, he saw it too. Looks like they got a big shark over here. Yeah? Since the day I saw you guys, we've been killing them every morning. Every morning. Big bull reds, uh, blues. Bulls? I mean, they were, they were big. We, we, Big, man. Really? It was great. Yeah, every right. morning. We've been getting out here about 5.30, 5.45. Right. And we went to pitch black. I mean, it's one after another. Yesterday, me and my son were first cast, both hooked up at the exact same time, pulled them in, threw back out. It was one after another. No way. Yeah. What, yeah are you still with, throwing spoons? Yeah. Um, I, I, I took a uh, page out of your book and used those big gold spoons with just the one hook on them. Yep. I bought all of the, the one ounces they had at Gulf Breeze Bait and Tackle, and we've, we've the best fishing we've had out here is before light. So if you get out here about 5.30, right there, I kind of stole your spot. So That's I've, all right. It's, a, it's our last day here, so I brought the whole family yeah, out. Yeah, So that nice. they could all catch them. Literally this morning, all of them were pulling them in. Oh my God. So my son just caught a little uh, two and a half foot shark on, yeah. on, a, on a silver spoon too. I mean, um, the gold's been super effective though. I ran out of gold. Um, and I can't thank you enough for your videos. Because everything that inspired me to come out here was watching your videos. Oh man, that makes me feel I great. Mean, from the gear, you know, and then especially getting to meet you guys in person. We appreciate thank you walking. Here's my son. He caught his first redfish out here with me the day before yesterday, based on everything you showed on your videos. Really? So. What's happening, Quinn? Right. You enjoying this? Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, that shark made my trip. That Baby shark I caught. Yeah. Pretty big red yesterday. Oh. When I come back next year. It'll, oh, it's all I'm buying. Yeah, spoon, silver and gold spoons. Spoon. You'll yeah. be ready. And braid. We're throwing a okay. 20 pound braid. Okay, so you it, get it, a lot of. I got rid of that braid that I had because it kept balling up on me, and they put me on a 20 pound test uh, from Gulf Breeze Bait and Tackle, but it's, it's getting broken off. I feel like I might need a 30. Yeah, I, you can go to 30. You can go to 30 braid. The heavier the braid, the less tangles, exactly. and don't feel the spool so full. Yeah, yeah. That's where you get in the tangle. Okay, thank you. Which, Ty. Yeah, man. Yeah, if you're going fast and you're not getting any hits, and when you slow it down, yeah. then you start getting hits. It's a great indication to yeah. slow it down a little bit. It made a huge difference. Well, you know, you get out here, you, you're not, we don't fish every day, and you get yeah. excited. Oh, yeah. You're like, yeah. want to do it over and over, yeah. So it's like we got another saltwater chicken debacle. It just don't taste as good. Seagulls and even pelicans are often attracted to our lures, especially topwater plugs. They often get hooked or tangled in the line, and we have to be careful to unhook them and let them go. All 
All right, folks. This is what we call a saltwater chicken. They're good with a side of zucchini, some rice, <laughs> make a roux. Teresa got a burner. What do you hit? Silver spoon. Throwing parallel? Yeah. Just had to get one unhooked a minute ago. Got a red? Yeah. Ooh. Oh, he pile drove that, honey. He's big. Yeah, that's a nice, that's that keeper red we want. You only got to be 18, he's well over. There's one in him. Yeah. One inside him. Sure is, isn't it? What the hell is that? That's the one we want. There's some dinner. Right, good job, girl. There's dinner. You hit a Johnson, uh, Silver. Johnson Silver Minnow strikes again. Isn't that walking the beach just so much fun? It is a blast. I love it. Well, you know, we hang around this pier because it holds bait, but we've gone to some other places and we found that there's really a lot of bait running all the beaches, right? Here in Florida, yes, they run the beaches. And throwing the spoon's definitely the ticket. Yeah, the spoon is my go-to bait. We uh, throw a lot of top water early and then we switch to the spoons as the sun gets higher and the fish move away from the sand. They're, they're blowing up right at the sand, right? Glass minnows uh, is what you're trying to emulate, so I go with small spoons. I think when it comes to these blue fish and even bonita and uh, Spanish, I think small is always the key. Well, thanks a lot for watching the show. Don't forget to subscribe and like and we'll catch you all next time right here on 30 Miles Out. That's not funny. What do you want me to say? Okay.